So, that woman is supposed to be Maxwell? And you claim she has lost her powers, Pressa? Yes. If she's already hidden the key somewhere, we could have a problem. The fault is mine. I underestimated them. I apologize. If I'd only known that woman was Maxwell, I would have forced her to reveal the key's whereabouts. No matter. It is in our best interest to let her wander freely for now. Yes. Let her attract the attention of Rashigal while we quietly put all the pieces in place. Any word from Agria? She says they appear to have decided to construct a new key to replace the one they lost. We cannot ignore that. Zhao, you no longer need to watch over the girl. Join the search for the key. But, sir... If the Rashigal soldiers have withdrawn, you need not monitor her personally. It only makes sense for priorities to change. The data is safe, after all. As you say. Pressa, rendezvous with Agria and infiltrate Fenmont. Oh, so it's truly safe to leave Maxwell alone? Yes. We still have another pawn on the board. I'll have him search for the key as well. What is it? I was mulling over our options. What if we can't take a boat straight to Fenmont? Well... I vote against taking the land route from Aljul. Crossing the mountains would be a real pain. Alvin? Alvin? We could head toward Sherrilton from Sapstrath Seahaven. We? What do you mean, we? That handmaid of yours offered me a little job. He wasn't so crazy about his exalted spirit traveling with a pipsqueak for a protector. Plus, the good village folk overpaid me. It'd be a stain on my professional pride if I didn't give them their money's worth. <laughs> Very well. Good to have you back. Yeah, thanks for coming along. Thank Ivor and the villagers, not me. So, what's the plan? First, we head to Hamil to investigate Rashigal's movements. If they're still there, that is. Then you better take this. Keep it handy, just in case. Shall we go? I don't get it. How could the four great spirits get captured? Fundamentally, the four are masses of mana. The Lance of Kresnik absorbs mana and apparently is able to store it. I never thought that was even possible. Apparently it is. We have to go rescue the four then. I do like the pluck, but this might be a case where a bit of pluck will get you a lot of dead. A pissed off med student's probably not a tall order for the group that bagged the four great spirits. <laughs> What are you doing? Can't you tell? I was giving this chicken advice about its problems. You were what? Ivor can speak with monsters and animals. Lady Mila entrusted me with the sacred duty of protecting all who live in this village. And be it man or chicken, that's exactly what I'll do. Hmm. I see. I see. Another chicken stole your territory and now you're too stressed to lay eggs? I know exactly how you feel. He's actually talking with it. It's some kind of fancy spirit art. I think they call it beastcraft or something. Lots of people in Ajul can command monsters, but even here, conversing with them is a rare skill. Huh. 
It's not merely conversing, mind you. With this power, I can control monsters and animals like the back of my hand. Wow, that's really impressive. Damn it! Why aren't you more jealous? Come to think of it, Ivor, you were the one who asked Alvin to accompany us. I wanted to thank you for that. I did? I asked Alvin to do what now? Hmm? Hey, Handmaid! I think this chicken's about to lay an egg. Curses! Lady Mila, I'm afraid I must hurry to intervene before the chicken turf war escalates further. Rest assured, no disturbance to the peace of Niakara will be tolerated so long as Ivor is here. He certainly takes his work seriously. Guess so. Wish I could say the same about myself. Hmm. Where'd you go after you left the shrine in Niakara? That's a secret for grown-ups. It sounds like you're trying to hide something. Figured that out, did you? Do you want to ask what I was doing? If you don't want to tell me, that's fine. If it's fine with you, then I ain't telling. You don't want to tell me? You don't want to ask? I'm starting to think I'd rather not know. I'm starting to think you're probably right. This is all your fault, you evil brat! Do you have any idea what you people put us through? Is this Rashigal's doing? They couldn't find us, so they took it out on the village. Leave here at once! You outsiders are nothing but trouble! She was like a completely different person. Let's see if the villagers know anything about Rashigal's activities. Don't forget, we'll be leaving soon. Gotcha. Thank you.
Hey, the porridge berries are ripe. You can make a nice liqueur out of these. Scram! Your kind isn't welcome here! Scram? What happened to the down-home hospitality you showed us when we got here? <laughs> Worry not. We'll soon be on our way. But if you keep acting like that, we just might have to stay here longer. What do you want from me? I want to know what happened to Rashigal's forces. Have they left? <laughs> Chief Zhao drove them off. Chief Zhao? Let me guess. Big guy? Funky beard? Yes. Things could have gotten a lot worse if not for him. Hmm. So what happened to this Chief Zhao of yours? Don't ask me. We've been living a nightmare here ever since he brought that accursed girl with him. He should have taken her with him when he left. In any case, we're through with outsiders here. Hey, there you are. Oh, it's the doll girl. We're finished here. We didn't learn anything useful. It's time to go. Wait, we need to talk. It's about the girl. The villagers do seem to treat her like a pariah. Until that big fellow Zhao returns, I don't see her situation improving. But Elise insists Zhao isn't her friend. He locks her up when he's around, and the villagers treat her horribly when he's away. Sounds like she's stuck between a jerk and a hard place. Unless we bring her with us. Bring her with us? And then what? Have you given this any thought? You do remember my mission. Yeah. <sighs> Very well. She can come. Really? Jude, do you remember what I told you at the falls? Huh? Be yourself and do what you have to do. That's what I said to you. Yeah, I remember. Those words still apply. Can I assume your decision to bring the girl is just another step in your path? That it will help you find the answer you seek? Y yes Then tell Elise she's coming. You got it.
That was nice of you. She won't affect my mission. If she slows me down or gets herself in trouble, I'll just leave her behind. My intent from the beginning was to do this alone after all. If you leave an egg in an empty box, and said egg gets crushed, the cause must lie within the egg itself. How's egg principle? It sounds obvious, but at the same time, not so much. 500 years ago, Professor Howe used that principle to deduce how spirit channeling works. Although, people still channeled beforehand, right? They just didn't know what they were doing. Yeah. Since spirits have no apparent physical form, people weren't aware they existed at all. But Professor Howe surmised that something had to be converting the mana from our mana lobes into arts. And that turned out to be spirits. Yep. His hypothesis was proven with the discovery of spirits that had taken physical forms. And because he figured out what was inside the egg, the age of spirit arts was born. Exactly. Although there's still a lot we don't understand about spirits. Like Maxwell being a busty 20-year-old. Bet even Professor Howe didn't see that coming. What a beautiful view. I bet if I yelled really loud, it would echo back. So why not try it? You gotta do things like that while you're still young. When you get to be my age, it can get a little embarrassing. Yeah, all right, why not? Echo! Echo, 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 echo. Alvin? Alvin, 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 Alvin. And what you're doing now isn't embarrassing? A little, a little, a little, a little. fruits. No wonder it smells so good around here. Wow, look how juicy they are. Mmm. Is that so? They look like they're at the peak of ripeness. Sweet with just a hint of tartness. That sounds... interesting. Uh, Mila, you're drooling really bad. For some reason, I can't make it stop. Sounds like your body is awakened to the joys of eating. Just keep those mitts off the merchandise. Our rap sheet's long enough as it is. <laughs> 